I'm not looking forward to this, but uh, here we go. Aaron, today we're going to have some uh, chicken wings. We've yeah. got flappers and drummers. Yep, yep. And uh, we have the hot sauces. And each one, starting with this one, is the least hot. Okay. All the way up to this one, which uh, may make you slap your mama. <laughs> All right. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Never done this. So we'll give it a shot. All right. And if you want, if there's not enough hot sauce on there, mm -hmm. you feel free to open the bottle, put it on the wing, and... Uh, We'll just go from there. I, I will probably open the bottle and put it on your wing. That's probably what I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna ask you some questions right. while we're doing this and- Okay, uh, you wanna take a bite first or what do you wanna do, take a bite and Well, let's just, let's just get warmed up with the questions. Okay. How's that? that sounds good. So what's uh, new and exciting going on in the Pennington Oh house? man, so kids are getting ready to go back to school, all the COVID craziness, so we're trying to figure all that out. And uh, you know, we've got some kids that are going in person, so I'm going, you know, staying at home and doing the online schooling. So not gonna lie, it's been kind of crazy. Um, I know a lot of people are experiencing the same thing, uh, but uh, doing our best, figuring it out. You know, that's what I say about leaders all the time. Leaders figure it out and we all we all have influence, so we all lead. And so uh, it's a big part of what we do throughout life. We just figure it out, so that's what we're doing. Excellent. Yeah. Well, your taste buds should be good and warmed up by now, okay. but a mm. uh, couple of uh, rules. Don't touch anything that you don't want burning. All right. That's, all right. That's fair. So keep your hands away from your eyes, your nose, and any other part, you know, yeah. we're good. Yeah. All right, so have let's start it. off start with on number the left. one. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit extra because, well, that's what I do. Mm. It's got a pretty good flavor. What do you think? I mean, not too bad. Being from Arizona, yeah, you've eaten hotter, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is gonna be by the way. This is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, what was surprising to you with uh, this COVID going on? Yeah, I think like everybody, um, just catching you off guard, you know, uh, nobody saw it coming and then we're leading in unprecedented times. So it's like, you know, who would have ever thought in the beginning of 2020 that because of a virus, we'd have to shut the church down for 10 weeks, right? Mm -hmm. And so there was just uh, one unexpected thing after another and the way that I've talked about it the way that I've heard a lot of other leaders talk about it it's like you know that you probably need to make this decision but when you're leading in unprecedented times you make that decision which you feel is right and probably is right but it had two consequences that you weren't aware of because you would never had to make a decision in the midst of a pandemic or whatever and so trying to figure out like what was worth sacrificing sometimes in the midst of making a hard choice because it really was the best choice and so um, definitely grew a lot of humility through that. As mm -hmm. a leader, I've, I feel like I prided myself in being pretty clear on what I want to know uh, we should do. And I've never been more unclear or uncertain in, in any other time in my leadership. So yeah, that's what I would say. Excellent. Well, this next one is uh, <clears throat> Las Calientes. Oh man. I think that's how they pronounce it in All Arizona. Right. So do, do we have the Scoville units or anything? You know what? Who cares? Those right? just, yeah, that's right. We'll leave that to Stu to flash that up on the screen. We're just gonna eat and talk. And I don't know where drummers come from, but it's a lot easier to eat a drummer than a flapper. Mm. Agreed. So have you ever wondered if it wasn't for the internet, where would the church be right now mm. with this virus? I mean, has it shown any, kind of like exposed any weaknesses? Um, I'd say it has for a lot of people. One of the things I'm really been proud of our team about is uh, we had put a lot of um, focus into technology ahead of time. Um, we, I think, probably saw that that was where it was going. And so we were already prepared in, to a great extent to make that, that change. We'd already been showing um, you know, online, and I think we kind of saw that trend happening. Um, I've tried to stay up on trends as much as possible within the church, listen to different guys like Kerry Newhoff or whoever that pay attention to church trends. And so I feel like we were, we were prepared. However, I've talked to a lot of other 
uh, of church friends that lead churches that maybe erred on the side of we'll never do that or you know we're not going to do digital church or you know we don't think it's real church or whatever and then they had to and so they were caught with their pants down a little bit if you will and had to make some of those adjustments quick and unfortunately some of them won't be able to make those adjustments quick enough and there will be what i call COVID casualties uh, for churches and small businesses throughout this time so i've been really proud of our team uh, i'm proud that we kind of saw uh you know anticipate what i call anticipatory leadership kind of look forward and it's like you know what i think this is where it's going let's go ahead and get prepared for that so we weren't like we weren't completely like caught like oh my gosh what are we going to do now don't get me wrong we still had to make a lot of adjustments, but as far as getting our content online, we were ready that next week. So I was, again, proud of our team, proud of our church. All right, Aaron, let's go for number three. This is uh, Dave's uh, Insanity Sauce. Mm -hmm. Little ghost pepper never hurt anybody. Ghost pepper. This so. is, uh, I'm not looking forward to this, but uh, here we go. Oh yeah, this one's gonna hurt. What do you think the ring sting's gonna be mm. on this one the next morning? This may have a 8.9. Now let's make it a 9.1 on the ring sting. All right, I'm gonna check in with Emily on mm. that. So I've heard this, that uh, as unfortunate as the COVID virus is, <clears throat> mm -hmm. that uh, God has taken a lot of churches and people through a journey and what have you found that God's uh, teaching you during all of this? Uh, okay. Let <clears throat> <clears throat> me get a little bit of milk. No shame in that. I feel like God has taught me a lot of humility. Um, <laughs> this is going to be fun <laughs> trying to answer this. <clears throat> I think he's taught me that... Um, there's a lot of spiritual complacency in our nation and uh, with a lot of luxuries being removed from people it has probably surfaced that there's been a lot of nominal Christians I'm getting to start sweating like a, like a <laughs> madman um, that we're probably gonna have to be forced to do church differently um, that even in the midst of not being able to do things the way that you want, <clears throat> especially through a time of such uncertainty and people uh, really hurting. Um, I am sweating like a madman right now. There's no shame in that, I'm <clears throat> sweating there with you. <laughs> uh, but there will be unique opportunities. Uh, for, uh, so I feel like God was saying, no matter the circumstances, no matter how bad they get, there will always be unique opportunities uh, to serve Him uh, to help people, to serve people, to elevate the name of Jesus. And um, yeah, I think that's about as much as I can talk at this point. So, <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the last you one. You sure you don't want to talk a little bit more before we go to the fourth <laughs> one? So this is the this is called the last dab, and it's a tradition that you put this a, my a little preacher, bit of a... I got my preacher, thing, my preacher thing going on right now. <laughs> With this one, you put uh, a little bit of a last dab on your wing. Yeah, you do that. And uh, ooh, you know what? Yeah. I'm feeling this one too. Oh. This is already getting my eyes. Let's we'll go ahead and take the glasses off. All right. And you know what? This All is right, what's going to be... uh, test your deodorant. Mm. If you think you're sweating with uh, Dave's and Sandy's so, sauce. Let's see how small of a dollop. So last well, dab. You're shaking. Here it comes. Last. You're, you are shaking. Dab. So I fully commit to the process <laughs> right there. Last dab. Got it. Oh, shoot. Oh. I hope that didn't go in my eyes. Slow down there, Ralph. We're, didn't, we're not in a hurry. Mm. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Like I said, that'll test your deodorant. 48 hours might only become one. So Aaron? I'm gonna get in this. So going forward, how has this uh, transformed you? Mm. With your walk with God, 
And I think I just got some in my eyes. That's beautiful. Will you pass oh. me a paper towel? Mm. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> oh, this is fun. Do we have a fan? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's your uh, wife and your kids. Okay. They're yeah. big fans. <clears throat> so anyway, how's this trip? Zoom, zoom in on these sweat beads. <clears throat> <clears throat> Remember, we're in this together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what was the question? <clears throat> so through all of this, um, what have what have you taken away from this to move forward? <laughs> <laughs> what have I taken away from this? This like what, what we're doing right away? now? Yeah. So, so I've heard people say that you know after COVID you're not going to be the same. You've got a new normal. Yeah. But what has inspired you? What changes has inspired you to go forward to be closer with God, to be a better witness, uh -huh. to be a better husband? Ooh. What? Because I think you're the one who said, let's not waste this time. So, yeah. So I would say <clears throat> that, um, like I'm suffering right now, <laughs> that uh, as Christians in America, we have not had to suffer very much at all. I think this gave us just a small taste of what it's like to live in a very... Um, shaky rocky uncertain time you never know what's going to happen you never know if you're going to lose your job if somebody you love is going to get sick <clears throat> uh, so suffering is like i said this is a perfect time to talk about suffering but because um, i'm suffering right now this is a 10 on the uh what the is it called sting. the ring sting so um <clears throat> what were we talking about <laughs> Um, How is this yes. You? So not being not being um, so complacent, not being so comfortable. Uh, I think moving forward, God's going to teach a lot of Christians. Uh, we got any more paper towels? So anyway, moving forward, what God has taught me, um, and I think what He's taught a lot of people is what does it look like to follow Jesus, even if it's not popular. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in our country, we're going to continue to see uh, just the unpopularity of Christianity. Uh, what Aaron, you know, what does it look like you, for you to be a Christian leader and to teach others and to uh, preach to others and to counsel others in the direction that you think they need to go uh, right now? Because I do believe we're headed into harder times, uh, whether it's COVID or on the other end of COVID. I believe, again, being a Christian in America is not is going to become less and less popular. And uh, you'll have more and more enemies. So it's just like, okay, uh, what does it look like to be a follower of Jesus when it's not, when it's not like fun? <laughs> You're talking faster in between breaths. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Well, well, this was an experience. Well, thank you for uh, joining us with our uh, Hot Wings Challenge. Yes. You did very well. Yeah. You didn't tap out. I didn't necessarily clean the bone on the last one, but I, I tried to get in there as much as I could. Hopefully, hopefully we got that extra last dollop on the, that I did put on there. I didn't didn't back off on the last. You did dollop. back. You made us proud. You made your family proud. I appreciate it. All hey, right. Appreciate you, man. Hey, thanks, Eric. All right. <laughs>